Hey everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. This video will be a power ad spy review and tutorial. Have you ever scrolled through Facebook or Instagram and thought how did that brand make an ad that grabs so much attention? I used to wonder the same thing. And that's exactly when I realized that a tool like Power Ad Spy can be a game changer. As the name suggests, it's a spy tool that lets you peek behind the curtain. See the ads that are running right now and learn which ads have already proven that they can pull the clicks, likes, and sales. So in this guide, we're going to break down what the tool actually does, how much you'll be paying, core features that matter for small teams and solo marketers, and a quick demo so that you can follow along on your own screen. I'll also go over the pros, cons, and why it still edges out the competition. So by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to turn someone else's winning ad into inspiration for your own winning ads. Without copying line for line and without wasting tons of money on blind testing. We will go over the pricing in more detail later on in the video, but for now you can go ahead and navigate to the link in the description below this video. Sign up for your own account so that you can follow along with me. And now we can dive right in, starting with what Power Ad Spy is and what it is not. So Power Ad Spy is an online dashboard that collects ads from huge sites like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Google Ads, Pinterest, and more. Think of it like a giant library. You just type in a keyword or your competitor, and then their powerful system will show you every live ad or past ad that uses those words. You'll be able to see the image, video, headline, and call to action. Even better, you will get engagement numbers. For example, the likes, comments, shares, estimated clicks, and how many days the ad has been running. Now for what it is not, it is not a magic button that writes the ads for you. The magic is in finding the ads that are working. You will still need to adjust the copy, swap out branding, and make the idea your own. So Power Ad Spy simply removes the guesswork about what messages and formats already connect with real audiences. And now I'm going to go over some of the key features and why they matter. Starting with the multi-network library. So instead of juggling five spy tools, you just open one dashboard and instantly switch from Facebook to Google to Pinterest. Less window hopping means faster research. And then we have unlimited ad views. Some tools would lock you to only 250 views a month, but here, once you've signed up for an account and got yourself a plan, you'll be able to scroll forever, easily saving the gems and skipping the junk. Next up, Power Ad Spy gives you smart filters, so you can choose by keyword, advertiser name, URL, country, age range, gender, and so many different filters. We also have the ad analytics panel as you can click on the analytics tab and then you will see a mini report. First seen, date, last seen date, days active, estimated daily spend, total spend, daily impressions, and the engagement graphs. If you see a long running ad with steady spend, it often points to profitable funnels. Additionally, you can press on the show original and the system will open the ad post inside Facebook or Google. You can see the outgoing links that will load the loading page in a new tab. You can study the headline, screenshot the layout, and then copy the color palette if you want to, or change it to your own branding colors. But of course, you always want to rewrite the copy in your own voice. Another cool feature is the Chrome extension, as you can, while browsing Facebook's newsfeed, click the Power Ad Spy icon on your Chrome, and then you will fetch the details of any sponsored post in real time. This is absolutely great for fast inspiration. So for the time being, I'm just going to go ahead and walk you through a real demo. The first step would be to create your own account. So you would want to visit poweradspy.com or you just simply click on the link in the description for convenience. And then you will land on the homepage from which you can click on the start trial. So essentially, you could grab any one of these plans that they have at extreme discounted offers for up to three days. Next up, onto the left sidebar right here, you can choose any one of these logos that you are seeing. For example, the blue F logo is Facebook, of course, and it's going to load the Facebook ad database. So you can choose any platform that you would like, for example, Instagram, YouTube, or the newly added and famous TikTok ads. After that, at the very top onto the search bar, you want to enter a keyword. You can also search by domain or advertiser if you would like to, or you can drop down this menu and then choose keyword, and then you enter your keyword or search by comment or search by landing page text. So I'm just going to run it by the keyword search. And then after that, you could sort by the engagement metrics, such as the likes, shares, comments, impressions, or popularity, or maybe the average ad budget. You can also sort them by the newest or last seen, or for example, if it's seen between today, yesterday, last seven days, so basically how recent the ad is. I really recommend that when you land on this page right here, that you play around with all of these filters and the sorting properties. Get familiar with them so that you know exactly how to find what you're looking for. So once you've selected all of these details, you click search. 
The next step would be to analyze your results. So right here on the main workspace, you are going to see a grid of ads. Once you've seen an interesting ad like this one, for example, you could easily just go over it and then you will instantly see some metrics, for example, the estimated budget, the popularity of the ad and the impressions so far. So basically, the impressions represent the number of times an ad is displayed across various places on Facebook. So in simple words, how many eyes this ad has gathered. And then if you want to dive even deeper, you would click on show analytics. And then that will take you to a page where it's going to show you the exact URL for the Facebook ad. It's going to show you the social engagement, for example, the likes, shares, and comments over the ad post, the engagement rate, when it was first and last seen, and the post date, and all of that stuff. You also get a further breakdown of the audiences that are seeing this ad, for example, their genders, their relationship status, their country demographic, and so on. Now, if you don't want to keep your tabs open and there are some ads that you want to revisit in the future, then all you have to do is click on the heart icon and you're going to mark it as a favorite. That way you can just revisit it at any time you want. The next step would be to rinse and repeat all of those steps across networks. So you can switch the platform onto the left bar and then go to Instagram or TikTok ads. And then you will be seeing different ads on different platforms just like that. What you want to do next is that you want to open Canva or your design editor, recreate the same structure of the ads that you enjoyed the most. For example, the hook headline, the benefit bullets, lifestyle photography, without stealing the exact words, obviously. And then you just simply launch your test. Because you modeled proven elements, you start off closer to the winning line. Now I'm going to go over some pro tips to get even more value, such as using and or keywords. For example, you can search for a keyword like dog and chew, and then it's going to pull ads containing both words. You can search for dog or puppy, and then that will widen the net. The simple logic will save you a lot of time rather than searching for each ad at a time. You also want to combine the ad type with funnel filters. So if you sell info products, you want to filter by lead pages and click funnels. The system will only show ads whose landing pages use those builders, meaning that you can inspect entire opt-in funnels. I also recommend that you spy stories as well, not only creatives, as many new users focus only on the thumbnail or the headline. So instead, you want to follow the entire trail, ad and then landing page and then upsell page and the thank you email as that narrative will reveal the true strategy. And finally, what I do is that I would track my competitors regularly. So you can set an alert for your biggest rival or competition. And then when they test a new angle, you will know within 24 hours. So now that you have a much better idea of what Power Ad Spy can do for you, let's go ahead and talk about the pricing. The great thing is that they have a bunch of unlimited ad views plans which you can just go over and choose the one that best fits your needs and budget. The plans would start at $69 per month when billed monthly, and the most expensive one is at $399 per month. Again, you can test any one of these plans for $1 on the basic plan or $7 on the other plans for up to three days. So the main difference between the plans is of course, number one, the networks. If you are only running your ad campaigns and you're only interested in Facebook, Instagram, Google, and YouTube ads, which are plenty, then the basic plan could be enough for you. You would still get a bunch of feature, although you would be missing out on the estimated ad budget. Now, this is a very powerful feature because it allows you to see how much people are actually spending on their ads, which also reflects on how much they are gaining from it. So for example, if you want this powerful feature, then you would have to go for the platinum plan, which in my opinion gives you the most value for the price. At only $279 per month, you end up having all of these different networks right here in addition to all of the powerful features that I went over. So when it comes to the pros and cons, I would say for the pros we have a huge library as we've got tens of millions of ads stored with new ones added every single day as competitors that cost double sometimes show fewer creatives. We also have the unlimited ad views which is insane value. So basically one plan and then you can do just endless analysis. And then we have the flexible payment, so you could go for the platinum plan. And then if you don't need, for example, Quora or any other networks, then you just simply don't pay for them. You only upgrade your plan when necessary. And then we have the accurate engagement data. So while no spy tool knows exact spends, Power Ad Spy's estimate engine is within a reasonable margin. That is usually more than good enough for pattern spotting. Now for the cons, the interface can feel a little bit busy. So there are a lot of checkboxes and stuff. But really, if you just spend a few minutes on here and familiarize yourself with the interface, then you're just going to get used to it very quickly. Another con is the higher tiers that can get pricey for solo users, which already surpasses even the higher tiers for the competitor tools. 
So in comparing Power Add Spy specifically to the other spy tools in the space, I would say it just simply hits the balance. You have a wide network coverage, deep filters, fair starting price, and a trial. So if you are thinking about running paid ads, whether you sell t-shirts, software, coaching, or local services, seeing what already works is the fastest shortcut to crafting your own winners. Power Ad Spy delivers that vision in a neat searchable library. You will still need to create, test, and follow the policy rules, but you will start miles ahead of the blind guessers. So my advice is to just simply create your account and then run a trial for one or seven dollars for three days, analyze the sheer amount of data that you will gather with this tool, and then continue with a plan that best fits your budget. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let us know if you have found it to be helpful and informative to watch by giving us a thumbs up. If you would like to test Power Ad Spy out, then go ahead and navigate to the link in the description down below. Create your account and let us know what you think. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make relating to this one.